Hey guys, it's Monday and welcome back to Casey Rants. I was on um, Twitter and I saw that Brittany Louise Taylor told um, Michael Buckley that she was going to do the Fifty Shades of Grey challenge and I was like, I'm totally up for it. So the challenge <laughs> is you have to um, read experts for ex, you have to read ex, ex excerpts from Fifty Shades of Grey. I have, and you're not supposed to laugh, I'm laughing because I'm thinking I'm probably one of the most crude people in the world, so it's going to take a lot for me to laugh, but anyway, I think Fifty Shades of Grey is a great love story, I loved it, I've read it three times, um, so I have um, my nook here, I'm going to turn it on, here is uh, it loading, okay, so you see we have the bundle, Kim is standing behind the computer. She is going to tell me what page from, I believe there's uh, 1,246 pages, that's because it's all three books put together. And uh, she's gonna name one random page and then I'm gonna read, I guess five pages would probably be enough, right? I feel like that's a lot of pages. So uh, I have to do it without laughing and I don't know because it's probably gonna, I don't find it embarrassing. So uh, let's try this. All right, let me go to page. Actually, Kim, just type in a number. Kim's just gonna pick random numbers. She's picking three, so it's gonna be somewhere in the... Okay, so Kim picked page 333. All right. Now I'm gonna laugh because she's standing there looking at me, like... All right, wow, he's done all this while on the phone. Do you have a hair tie? Oh God, Kim, you picked one of the best pages. I'm laughing <laughs> because it's gonna... This is going to be good. I hope, oh, if you guys are kind of squeamish about BDSM, probably going to want to turn off the computer at Or this if you point. haven't read the book yet. Or if you've never read the book, spoiler alert, I'm going to read. And this is, uh, I guess this is, this is chap, this is, uh, this is still book one. So, all right, let's try this again without Kim looking at me and thinking about how great I'm just about to talk about sex. All right. <clears throat> Wow, he's done all this while on the phone. Do you have a hair tie? I blink at him, fish into my jeans pocket, and pull out a hair elastic. Put your hair up, he orders softly. I do as he asks. It's warm and sultry beside the bath, and my camisole starts to stick. He leans over and shuts off the faucet, leaning... <laughs> I'm just, I can't Fail. read! I can't read! It's, I keep saying leaning, and it's leading. Leading me back into the first part of the bathroom, he stands behind me as we face the wall-sized mirror above the two glass sinks. Take your sandals off, he murmurs, and I oblige, quickly dropping them to the sandstone floor. Lift up your arms, he breathes. I do as I am told. And he lifts my camisole over my head so that I'm topless standing in front of him. Not taking his eyes off mine, he reaches around and undoes the top button on my jeans and the zipper. I'm going to have you in the bathroom, Anastasia. Leaning down, he kisses is my neck. I move my head to one side to give him easier access. Kim, stop. That's not fair. Hooking his thumbs into my jeans. Je Why are you messing me up? I was doing so well. This doesn't count because Kim is staring at me, making me laugh. Um, oh God, now I can't remember. Where would I leave off? Oh, hooking his thumbs into my jeans. He slowly slides them down my legs, sinking down behind me as he pulls them and my panties to the floor. Step out of your jeans. Like, he wanted her to do that? Come on, he was already pulling her pants off. Um, grasping the edge of the sink, I do just that. I'm now naked, staring at myself, and he's kneeling but behind me. He kisses and then softly bites my behind, making me gasp. He stands and stares at me once more in the mirror. I try to stay still, ignoring my natural inclination to cover myself up. He splays his hands across my belly. Okay, it was changing the page. The span of his hand almost reaching from hip to hip. Look at you. You are so beautiful, he, mum he murmurs. <laughs> Can't even do it. It's so weird now. See how you feel. He clasps both my hands in his palms against the backs of my hand, his fingers in between mine so that my fingers are splayed. He places his hands on my belly. Feel how soft your skin is. His voice is soft and low. He moves his hands in a so slow circle, then upward towards my breast. Feeling how feel how full your breasts are. He holds my hand so that they cup my breast. He gently strokes my nipples with his thumb. Okay. <laughs> Kim! That's not fair! Kim, I hate you right now. This is gonna be this is harder reading and trying not to pay attention to Kim than 
thing nipple. Give it up, I'll give you another page. We're gonna try again. Kim, what page did you choose? 1005. 1005, this is the third book. So, spoiler, nobody watch this if you want to read it or if you're gonna be uncomfortable. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready to get turned on. Kisses up my right thigh, heading north. My whole body clenches in anticipation. He glances up at me, his eyes darkening through long lashes. La Lash. Lashes. I can't speak tonight. Sorry, guys. Watch, he rasps. Then his mouth is on me. Oh, my. I cry out. The world is concentrated at the at apex of my thighs. And it's so erotic. Fuck. Watching him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I, laughing because yeah, Kim is just I've been standing for there. Nook. Kim's You're been like, looking for her nook and she finds like it. It's like hour. the eureka moment and that made me laugh because she's like, <gasps> there it is. I'm like, okay, there it is. Yep, Kim has a nook. I have a nook. This is actually Kim's old nook, but that's not what matters. Um, anyway, back to reading Fifty Shades really of Porn. Um, and Kim's going to stop interrupting me. All right. Um, hmm. Uh, okay, well, oh my, I cry out as the world is concentrated at the apex of my thighs, and it's so erotic. Fuck, watching him, watching his tongue against what feels like the most sensitive part of my body, and he shows no mercy, teasing and taunting, worshipping me. My body tenses, and my arms start to tremble from the strain of staying upright. No, ah, I m murmur. Gently, he eases one long finger inside of me, and I can bear it no more, collapsing back onto the bed, relishing his mouth and fingers on me. On and in me. Slowly and gently, he massages that sweet, sweet spot deep inside me. And that's it. I'm gone. I explode around him, crying out an incoherent rendition of his name as my intense orgasm arches my back off the bed. I think I see stars. It's such a virtual, vert, vert, vi, how would you, vir, virtual, primal feeling. I've never said that word out loud, so I guess vaguely I'm aware that he's nuzzling my belly, giving me soft, Sweet kisses, reaching down, I caress his hair. I'm not finished with you yet, he murmurs. And before I fully come back to Seattle, planet, he, planet Earth, he's reaching for me, grasping my thighs and pulling me off the bed to where he's kneeling, into his waiting lap and onto his waiting erection. I gasp as he fills me. Holy cow. Oh, baby, he breathes as he wraps his arms around me and stills, cradling my head and kissing my face. He flexes his hips and pleasure spikes hot and hard from deep within me. He reaches for my behind and lifts me, rocking his groin upward. Ah, I moan, and his lips are on mine again as he slowly, oh so slowly, lifts and rocks, lifts and rocks. I throw my arms around his neck, surrendering to his gentle rhythm and to wherever, when, wherever he'll take me. I just well. <laughs> That's a funny story because we're reading Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, I flex my thighs riding him. He reads, he feels so good. Leaning backwards, I tilt my head, my mouth open wide in a silent expression of pleasure, reveling in his sweet lovemaking. Anna, he breathes and leans down, kissing my throat, holding me tight, slowly easing in and out, pushing me higher and higher, so exquisitively timed, a fluid cardinal force. Blissful pleasure radiates outward from deep, deep inside me as he holds me so intimately. I love you, Anna, he whispers close to my ear, his voice low and harsh, and lifts me again. Up, down, up, down. I curl my hands back around his neck into his hair. I love you too, Christian. Opening my eyes, I find he's gazing at me, and all I see is his love shining bright and bold in the soft glow of the playroom light, his nightmare seemingly forgotten. And as I feel my body building towards my release, I realize this is what I wanted. This connection, this demonstration of our love. Come for me, baby, he whispers, his voice low. I screw my eyes shut as my body tightens at the low sound of his voice. And I come loudly, spir spiraling into an intense climax. He stills, his forehead against mine, as he softly whispers my name, wraps his arms around me, and finds his own release. The end. I think I did pretty well. Um, yeah. So that was Fifty Shades of Grey. And if you enjoyed that page and a half of whatever I read, go get yourself. <laughs> All right. Well, this is Casey Rance. I'll actually be back with topics that probably matter sometime soon. But for right now, school's a little busy. So I'm kind of finding things to take up my time. And I'll definitely bring Robin back and do more challenges with her because I think that was... 
that was pretty funny, the uh, cinnamon challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was not embarrassing for me at all. So, <laughs> um, love you guys.